So are you talking about his ph philosophical writings or his diaries or some other... His diaries, about his, his life. His diaries, okay. But of course... And this is where he's completely naked and vulnerable. And, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And so he's madly in love <laughs> and he goes to Moscow to see that woman he is madly in love with and who doesn't give a shit about him. Yeah. Who is with somebody else. Yeah. And who is sick. But he goes and see her every day at the hospital where she's trying to recover from a breakdown. Hmm. Huh. And he lives and her a companion, the man she lived with, mm -hmm. takes care of Walter Benjamin. Whoa. So, yeah. <laughs> and he's trying to seduce her. He's trying to yeah. gain her affection. But he's pathetic. Mm -hmm. And he's showing all that. But not just that, he's showing also what Mosca at the time yeah. is uh, offering him because he could belong, for instance, to the Communist Party and he would have a job in Mosca. He would be somebody there and he wouldn't have to worry about money all the time. So he all these thoughts mm -hmm. are going through him, mm -hmm. but he's not a communist. Mm -hmm. It would be a total lie. Mm -hmm. So he's playing with that. It, it's fighting for his survival, for trying to seduce this woman. Mm -hmm. And he knows also that if he did seduce her, he could not really live with her. He's not even sure he likes her. Yeah. It's a. It's so amazing, his description of that month. Yeah. Is mind blowing and of himself, the way he reveals himself, in the ugly part. Yeah. It's very courageous.